my guys, it's Angela, and today's vlog is all about traveling to Greece, specifically two places, Santorini and Athens, and I'm going to show you guys all the places I'll be going to and my thoughts. So just arrived at our Airbnb in Plaka, not in Plaka, in Athens, and we're going to go visit a neighborhood called Plaka and try out some delicious foods. So day one, here we go. So long day has finally finished, day one. Before we head home, stopped at a place called Lumaka. Pronouncing it wrong, it's in Greek. What this store specializes in is Greek donuts. And they're like these tiny mini donuts that fried fresh in front of you. You get to choose different kind of flavors. And we chose honey and cinnamon. That's a classic apparently. Pistachio praline and pustaga cream with chocolate praline, which is basically chocolate sauce on top. My favorite was either the chocolate praline one or the pistachio one. One. Highly recommend you guys check that place out for dessert after dinner or after lunch. And tomorrow it will be a full on day tour with a guide to go to this place, Meteora, which um, holds like three famous monasteries and you get to see like big building rocks. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I mean uh, tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> So just finished the tour um, of Meteora and heading back to Athens. Not gonna lie, when I first began going on the train and coming here, the weather was really foggy and the whole point of paying $100 per person to do this tour was so I can see the beautiful view at the monasteries. So in the beginning, as you can see, there was a lot of fogs. I was kind of disappointed because like, if they knew this weather, why is the tour still on? But, Later on in the day, some of the fog cleared up to the sky, the view looks like in the cloud of sea and I felt that was really beautiful. The tour guide even said that this doesn't really happen. So to have like a semi view with the fog, it's really beautiful and tomorrow will be a bus trip to the Messene, couple three places um, with an archaeologist for as a tour guide so I think that'll be pretty unique. Alright, so just arrived in the first half of the tour, well the first site which is my scene eye this is where all the way dates back to the 1500 bc used to be a big civilization city entering this golden arch way well the actually first stop was a canal one of the few canals that's man-made connects to the agency and the and another black sea i think we just passed the place that's um the archway that's like around 1300 bc and yeah i'm just roaming around now about this tour right now i would highly recommend it for those who are really interested in the greek ancient greece um history to actually be able to touch and see history itself is pretty amazing i got this tour from get your guide and we paid a you know decent amount it was two people for 120 dollars but it doesn't include an entrance fee but if you come in a low season which is in the winter time which is what i'm doing right now six euros per person so it's not bad um but yeah witness this is pretty amazing
Okay, so I just finished the town of Napoli, which was our second stop, and it's such a beautiful town. I mean, the architecture, like the tour guide said, was very similar to Venetian architectures, as that place was controlled by Venetians at a point in time. And I just felt like the sea was amazing, the, the sea was beautiful and the town had its own character and it was just so lovely and now i am at the another site it starts with the b bellamoose where there's a theater that's so grand 2500 years old was made for the god of doctor or god of health like he was a demigod but then like was killed by zeus and then became like a full god this place has a lot of archaeological sites so checking those places out today not much of a foodie day because it was more of like of seeing the history and for lunch we just had a regular gyros. Tomorrow will be more of like a cropless museum, cropless sites, and maybe a food uh, restaurant recommendation. So yeah. Okay, so today is the third day and we're heading to two museums. One's the um, Nations or Natural Archaeological Museum, the Acropolis Museum, and then the Acropolis site. To finish the National Archaeological Museum and not gonna lie, I mean yes the tickets were cheap because it's um, the winter season so it's six euros per person but a lot of rooms were closed because there was no staff to look after it even though a staff could honestly just come to the room and just stay there until we finished there was a lot of great rooms that were just empty so it was really quick the only cool thing is that we it's cool to see like the mycenae treasures that were found in the burial grounds that we went yesterday on the mycenae trip but other than that, it was nothing much. Hopefully the next museum or the Acropolis site gets better to finish off our day in Athens. So just finished my time at the Acropolis sites, uh, reaching the highest point, And it's really beautiful. Um, apparently all the temples are mainly for Athena, which kind of makes sense because it is Athens. On top, you can also see the beautiful city view of um, Athens. Highly recommend you guys to come here. Actually, the self-guided tour is enough to just, you know, do this by yourself. You don't really need a guide, actually. Just follow the self-audio guided tour and you get to see the beautiful Acropolis sites. There's not many, I thought there'll be a lot, but I finished it in one hour and a half. The other hour, I might go to the Acropolis Museum and see how that goes. All right, so such a windy day, but just finished my tour at the Acropolis Museum, and it's honestly just the first and third floor. The second floor is a museum. If you guys really love Greek history, this is something for you, and it's really near the Acropolis site anyways. You might as well go. If you bring your student ID, you get three years off. So yeah, up next to a rooftop bar place. So before going to the rooftop, I discovered there's another place that's close to the Acropolis site, and it's like the Temple of Hephaestus and um, Temple of Agora. And here is where you can see some museums. The Temple of Hepatitis, I highly recommend. It costs five euros to get in, but it's the only structure, full structure, that's still alive and still standing right now. The rest of the Acropolis are like all broken. So that was really amazing. 